I'm gonna deck you. 22! I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Um, and I'm gonna have to make this pretty short. There was this mall in Kansas City where I used to live. Uh, it was called Metro North. And I liked this mall. This was our mall. It was part in Parkville. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff. Uh, had the had the CD shops with the expensive CDs. You're like sixteen dollars for a single. Hmm. Maybe later. Um, but then it's too late. Is everything closed? Dead mall. So I named my deck. Uh, after that, um, this is called Metro North, and the way, what happened was, uh, I came back from, uh, Canada, saw my second girlfriend, and I played my friend, he was a magic judge, man, he'd been playing forever, he was the one that wanted me to get into the game, and, uh, I come back thinking that my deck that couldn't beat even my girlfriend at the time was gonna beat him, just cause I paid for expensive cards that were too costly the deck was too slow man he stomped on me depressed me and made me cry and stuff um so we only had 10 minutes of life touch where i was working at the time to uh to play uh, that was our break was 10 minutes where we could play a lunch of course um so i made a deck i was like i want to make a deck it's just gonna kill your creatures, that's all I'm gonna do. And so that was the original, uh, it was just like the death deck or something. Maybe I call it Metro North at that point. But then I, I slowly filtered in, I had that, and then I filtered in some milling stuff. That's kind of the plot twist. Um, the main thing is still creature death, like in every way possible. There's a few creatures now. Um, like uh, Bane of the Living, which can be morphed uh, to put a minus one, minus one on all creatures. So he can actually do that, come in as a 2-1 and not kill himself, uh, and kill everything that's a 2-2, two, two, which isn't bad. Nem uh, Nemesis of Reason, uh, which mills 10 cards just for attacking, doesn't matter if he gets through or not. Um, uh, you can mill and put fairies into play with Una. I bought this specifically. I wanted this very badly. Um, there's two doppelgangers, Evil Twin and Dimmer Doppelganger. Basically, they have the same type of ability where it's uh, come into play as a copy and kill that copy by paying a little bit more. Uh, Mortivore, who, if you've been milling for a while and there's a lot of creatures in the deck, he's power and toughness equal to those creatures and I think, uh, all graveyards, right? Yeah, big. Plus he regenerates for one. Uh, this guy's huge and a lot of fun. Uh, of course, if there's, he, you'd be stupid to put it out without anything in the graveyard. He'd be dead instantly. Uh, Kakusho. This is a good one if you have multiple ones. I only have this one, but still pretty nice. If there's multiples, though, uh, when they come into play, they kill each other because they're legends, and then uh, everybody loses five life and you gain five life. So it would equal out if it was uh, somebody else's Kakusho. Um, they'd both be dead and you'd equal out, but if somebody else was playing, they'd be hurt rather badly. Uh, Hippy, <laughs> the Hypnotic Spectre. I looked at this card up recently. Uh, some said 100, some said 2 cents. I was like, oh, let me go to that site. And it was virtual cards. Lame, dude. So lame. If you're playing virtual cards, there's no reason to be watching this. You can just go away now. And then Illusionary Demon. Mostly temporary cards or big things for the, for the end. Um... But then there's a lot of fun stuff. Spell Jack, uh, counter a spell, and uh, just steal the spell and can play it whenever I want. It's pretty rad. Um, 
No Mercy. This is a pretty hundred. This is like a hundred dollar card now. It seems uh, fifty to a hundred bucks. Uh, no Mercy. If any creature deals damage to me, it dies. Soul Feast this is an old, just like leech card. Suck four, out, gain four. Ornate. Uh, this is pretty neat because it it exiles a card. It mills one. And I can play it if it's possible. And if it's a land, I can just play it. So you got to time this, that one kind of right. There's a lot of mill stuff. Extinction. Um, destroy all creatures of any type. Elf deck. Dead. Uh, then there's like X mills. Like just mill as many and gain that much life. So it's a death grasp for mill. Um, Breast Stealer's Crypt. Uh, if they draw a creature card, uh, they have to get rid of it, or they have to pay three life. So either way, it's good. And that's why I don't have many creatures in the deck. Um, and I gain some life. Another Soul Feast. Uh, Spreading Plague. Uh, <laughs> this one's fun. Um, whenever a creature comes into play, destroy all creatures that share a color with it. So, if you have a monochrome deck, you're only getting one creature in at a time. Um, minus one, minus one is a good goblin or elf killer. Uh, so you just say elf or goblin or something like that. They all have minus one. Skull cage. Uh, it kind of depends on the amount of cards in their hand, dealing damage. It makes you think about what you need to keep. Skull cage, I don't know if that's really pertinent for the deck. Um, it might be the first thing that I would toss out. Uh, bounce, a pain bounce, like, knock a permanent, like a planeswalker, back to your hand. Take three. Jester's Cap. Yamoth's Will. That's a good way to get all your, uh, dark writs in. Cranial Extraction. Prosperity. Everybody draws a bunch of cards. That's fun. And dark red, dark red, dark red. The bigger deal at the time, I didn't really care about this card much. Pithing Needle. Um, but everybody was making such a big deal about it. I was like, okay, well, I'll put it in this deck. Since this deck isn't that good, that'll make that this deck kind of cool. It never wins. I just like it. It's really good for beginner players that are very focused on creatures. Um, yeah, and it makes them sad, which is what I want to do.